Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I'm back with another video and I'm going to try and get two magazine reviews and project shares. So showing you what you can make with the bits inside two magazines into one video. And as you know, my videos tend to cut off due to my phone. So we will see how we get on. Anyway, the first one that I picked up isn't one that I subscribed to, Papercraft Essentials, but I saw, I think it was on Facebook, that the free gift was Wallace and Gromit. I love Wallace and Gromit. I've got um, one of those little Gromit um, model things that they were doing in Bristol, you know, the ones that you can collect. I've got one of those, actually one that I picked up in a charity shop and I'd love some more. Um, and I love the little films they do. If you're American, you're probably thinking, who on earth are Wallace and Gromit? Because I don't know if they quite made it over there, just showing you the price and the issue. Um, but if you're English, you'll know who Wallace and Gromit are. So I'll quickly show you the magazine. Um, it's typical, pretty sure it's made by the same people as Simply Cards and Paper Crafts, which is the one that I subscribe to. So here you can see some of the projects they've made with the um, Wallace and Gromit gifts that I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you a competition. Um, and I've got a link to the competition if you want to enter, which is for all the competitions that I think in there. So yeah, and one thing I was going to say that I'm considering doing is if you subscribe to Papercraft Essentials at the moment, I think it's until the first week of June, you get a £50 craft stash voucher. I don't need £50 worth more of craft stash stuff, but I want it. And actually, this is quite a good magazine. Like The gifts seem to be pretty good. So um, watch this space. I may end up subscribing. Yeah, check it out if you're interested. Um, I'll show you in a second the codes. They've got some... That's pretty, isn't it? With the like wooden background. I do love a good wooden background. More ideas with good old Wallace and Cromit. That's the rest of the competitions that I'll leave a link to. One thing that's quite nice to do, they do these cut out and keep, so different cards and on the um, back, the instructions for how to make them. So that's with a Hunky Dory set. Another thing that I have given in, I've kind of bought the latest Hunky Dory free gift. It was like, if you there was a free gift, but then if you spent £12, you got like £20 worth of stuff. And I don't know, I'll show you when it comes through the post, but I just gave in and got that. I love that. That's the graphic 45s by the seaside. Um, if I find somewhere selling single sheets, I might have to um, pick it up. <laughs> so I hope that I don't find it because I really shouldn't be spending any more. Um, more Wallace and Gromit ideas, of course. So this one, it said faux layered die cutting. And I was like, really does look like they've layered that up. And what they mean is they do layer it up, but they're just, it's like, it's not different layers. It's all the same layers, just um, put on top of each other. Offset, that's what you call it, isn't it? When you offset it. So I, I disagree with calling it faux layered because technically it is layered, but um, offsetting your die cuts, very nice effect. If you want to give that a go. Latest Joanna Sheen thingamajig box set. I'm going to try not to get that one because that looks like stuff that I already own. Skip on through because not much of there's this and there's that. Always like to see what's coming in next time's one. I'm quite excited about next time's one. Not that I've subscribed yet and I did look at subscribing and you can't subscribe to the next one. You've got to subscribe to the one after. But there is this Craftwork cards set and it's really cute and you get all these different things, papers and die cut bits. So um, I may well have to buy that next time and the Care Bears. So that is the magazine. Let's have a quick look and see what you get inside the magazine. Um, you get Wallace and Gromit stamps. I love Wallace and Gromit. I love Gromit especially, like Wallace. He's a bit of a funny looking man. He actually reminds me of my other half. So Mr. Coastal Crafts, if you're watching, um, there you go. <laughs> it's not how he dresses. Um, so they're really cool. I know um, that the problem with these magazine ones, I just don't think they last very long, the quality and words. Like if you press too hard on these acrylic stamps, they um, smudge. So you've got to press really delicately. I use a stamping tool and that's how um, I do get some success. But that's why I prefer photopolymer or rubber is because if you don't get the exact right pressure, it just goes, goes funny. So then you had all these different papers. I've already cut into that one. It's like a Wallace and Gromit wallpaper. I can't think what era you'd sort of call that from. Is that like a 
70s, 80s, maybe era of uh, wallpaper. Um, you get this paper, they're all shiny. This one, Gromit. Gromit's my favourite, as you can probably tell. Um, he likes his Wensleydales, type of cheese, if you don't know, if you're foreign. Wallace. That one I've cut into as well. Love it. Bones. This is another one of these sort of old style um, wallpaper. Wallace and Crump put the kettle on. Another wallpaper. Piella Bakewell. I think she was in their film that they did. I did see that film. I actually can't remember now what happened. Was that the one where they had some kind of machine that was eating sheep or something and turning them into i don't know i can't remember um i'm sure you can fill me in i did see that film and then you get some of these die cuts like if you love using die cuts i like these sentiments um and these i might like put onto um scrapbooks and other things like that and tags i'll probably use they're all very shiny so it's quite british isn't it i'm a bit british i mean i don't have a lot of emotional attachment to her but all oh, the little poodles cute. Um, so there we go. So I think it's it's a really good gift this time um, because obviously anything with like a name brand is always quite nice to get, isn't it? Um, I always think it's a little bit more expensive. So I got the stamps out and the papers and had a bit of a play around. So I've made a, a Father's Day card as that's coming up very soon. So that's the stamp, stamped out the little grommet and there's a bit of... Um, glossy accents because you know I'm addicted to that on there just to give him a bit more dimension and then I fussy cut that out and um, die cut out this paper which is that lovely bone paper um, cracking day it says I wasn't sure what to put I had all this sort of space here and I thought needs something so I use the sentiment and that one's actually come out quite nicely um, I think where there were some gaps in the quality of stamping I just coloured it in with um, a black pen and you wouldn't know the difference um, and that, of course, is one of the toppers. So cute. My parents' dog, my dad's dog, looks nothing like that. But um, who doesn't love a dog, eh? So then I went for this one. It's another one of stamps because I'm a keen stamper. And the wallpaper background this time. So more glossy accents. Um, have a grand day. So I didn't do brilliant stamping there. But still, it's come out nicely. I had to do it a few times. I think the first time I did that thing where you press it too much. Then this is some dies that I own um, already. I think they're from AliExpress and I just cut them out to add a bit of, you know, it's like a cooking theme, isn't it? So I was quite happy with how those two cards came out. Loving it. So the other magazine is the one that I subscribe to, of course, simply cards and paper crafts. So I show this one every month. What are we on to now? This one says £7.99. Even more expensive. 192 issue 192. Um, I presume I pay slightly less by subscribing. One would only hope, wouldn't they? Um, I don't do the maths on it very often. I do like to look at all the new products that come up. So this is showing you it's a seaside theme. I'll show you the free gift in a second. So they give you lots of different projects. So as I say, yeah, I like to look at the um, new products, although it does get me buying stuff, but that's pretty, isn't it? Who's that by? Heartfelt Creations. I don't think I own anything by Heartfelt Creations. We are Memory Keeper Foil Quill. I looked at that and thought that's quite exciting, but it appears to be like the main application of that is on a cricket. I don't own a cricket. Lots of people do. I don't. Quite a good tool if you do own one. Be a rubbish tool, really, if you don't, because it would be me drawing stuff and my drawing's not very good. The, the digital downloads wasn't very excited by those might appeal to other people I just felt they were a bit a bit basic and probably wouldn't bother to go to the whole effort of downloading it um so down the life of Helen Griffin don't know much about her but she's producing her own line of um dyes it appears which looks all right once you own quite a few dyes it can become a bit like oh I, I own everything already I sort of look at it and think there's nothing Nothing inspiring me. More projects with the dies I'm going to show you in a second. Um, obviously, if you want to look at any of these in any more detail, what you have to do is pause your video. This one I was tempted by, this Hunky Dory collection. It's Paris themed. I love Paris. I'm probably going to be buying this. It's not out till the 13th of June, so I've got a moment to recover. Um, and, of course, what's next month's... It's pretty, isn't it, those flowers? Um... They look like crepe paper flowers. Where is it gone? Where's next month's? What do we get next month? Um, um, 
and as it is you get that stamp set I like the foxgloves the rest of it's fairly generic and you do get papers I love it when you get papers I love paper I don't need any more paper I like the bumblebee one you can see there and you obviously get some cut outs as well so that's cool and what did you get free with this month you may be asking if you haven't worked it out already it's the nautical tart dies um, there are a load of papers, but you have to download them. And to me, by the time you've downloaded, printed them out, they cost a small fortune. So I don't do that. But you get all these different dies. So we've got the anchor, the steering wheel, and the boat that will separate. And then this, these ones are kind of like scene building dies. And I've added the magnetic sheet just to store them. And there's a little birdie in there as well. And for some reason, I made a very big card on this one. So I really like these little bits, these steering wheel and the anchor. I think they would make great sort of ephemera pieces on other cards and other projects. I think I'll be using those quite a bit. I also liked the um, lighthouse. I had a moment of madness there, which I've paper pieced to give it a bit of colour. I've gone for a bit of shine there using this Polaroid frame that I believe I also bought off AliExpress and this beautiful paper that was gifted to me um, in Happy Mail. So, yeah, cute. Surprisingly massive card for no apparent reason. But, yeah, that lighthouse is nice. I don't know how, um, I have to think. I think of some more ideas, but I would definitely, I can think of, like, these will get used on all sorts of things, from scrapbook pages to cards to pocket letters. Love those. They need a little bit more glue to give them a bit more stability. But there we go. If you're interested in picking up any magazines, then, um, yeah, I've enjoyed these two. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. If you do get Simply Cards and Paper Crafts, it also comes with a sample, not that, that's a random sticker, um, of Simply Lettering. Um, it's not for me. I can't write. My handwriting's terrible. When I'm teaching the kids, I'm just like how to form letters. Any kind of beautifulness doesn't come from me. But if you were wanting to do it, um, I have got some metallic pens that I got for the kids from the works three pounds they were that would work perfectly on here but if you were interested um in simply lettering why not get yourself simply cards and paper crafts and have a sampler and see what you think also comes with these pretty papers <laughs> which is cool so i just want to show you that before you, um i forget i've got the if you want the link to the offer where you can get the 50 pound voucher if you su subscribe i can't see where it is for a second so i will link it below if you ask me for it and i'll also put the link for the competition as well if you'd like to enter i've done it before my phone cut off speak to you soon bye